The speakeasy space is probably 95% complete now. I can start seeing the finished vision. All that I need to do is to start moving some rugs and furniture in. This one goes this way. These need to go on angles. It's too perfect having them squared. Really? Remember, Dave, nothing should be perfect. What I'm learning about Dave is if you really want to wind him up. You're going to have this rug over top of this rug. Yeah, and when I get the third and fourth rug, and they're different colors and patterns and sizes. Layer some rugs. Put them at odd angles rather than lining them up against the walls. This looks like he just come down and threw the rug down. And... That's the point. He literally was cannot compute. You can't, you, like, you're not going to leave this like that. Oh, yeah, I am. I think he's slowly beginning to get into Heather's space and why I make the decisions that I do. Putting the speakeasy together with all of the design elements is really fun. I want every inch of that space to be perfect, getting it to a point where I'm comfortable to bring everyone in and it will be a true reflection of my vision. I really can't wait for the basement to be done. I won't be rushed, it's gotta be done right. No, I'm not saying rush it, I'm just saying it'll be nice when it's done. It was done three weeks ago, Dave and I really enjoy using it. <laughs> I just haven't told you. <laughs> This is your formal invitation to the speakeasy party this evening. The Costco bar is open and ready to receive you. Dress to impress. All right. I actually can't remember the last time I had to uh, dress to impress, especially out here in the country. So it was cool to see everyone dressed up. Are we waiting for mommy or something? Do you know? Can we knock? I really want to see it. I can't wait. I think everybody's really excited and a little nervous. What happens if it's terrible? If we didn't like it, we didn't really know what we were going to do. Wow. OK, you can come in now. Oh, wow. This is incredible. <laughs>